Do you guys realize what we're talking about? Do you guys realize what we're talking about? I'm not sure you realize what we're talking about. Do you realize what... Actually, you probably know what we're talking about. Jey Uso versus Jimmy Uso at WrestleMania. A match between twins. It's amazing. These two guys are top tier talent. No, no, no. They're mid. Let's be real here. They're mid. They're top tier tag team champs. But they're mid solo. But anyway, I'm not talking if they're mid, top. Anyway, I'm really hyped about that. Because uh, over a year ago, when there were tag team champs and they lost their titles to Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, they had an interview and they were like, dude, it was so awesome. We were at the main event, WrestleMania, and at the end of the match, we both were laying on the mat and we were looking at the ceiling of the building and we just said, oh man, this is awesome. And their dream was complete. And the only thing that would top that is both of them facing each other at WrestleMania. Can you imagine if they were in the main event of WrestleMania? It would have been huge, but unfortunately there are a lot more people that are basically better than them in a lot of ways. So yeah, I hope one day for them to have that moment of main eventing WrestleMania 1v1, but unfortunately this is not the moment. But let's talk about the match for a second. So for months, Jimmy Uso is sabotaging Jey Uso, right? First off, Jimmy Uso costed Jay and Cody the tag team titles. Second of all, Jimmy Uso costed their rematch to win the tag team titles again. After that, Jimmy Uso costed Jey Uso the Intercontinental Championship match. And uh, yesterday, Jimmy Uso and Solo costed the match against Drew McIntyre. So basically, Jimmy is sabotaging Jay on a lot of levels. And storyline-wise, I'm not gonna lie to you, this is a little bit of a bullshit. You know, I agree that at some point they must face each other because this is their dream, right? But the story doesn't make any sense and I'm gonna tell you why. So everything started last year whenever the bloodline started cracking up, you know, when Sami Zayn said that he's not gonna hit Kevin Owens and basically he hit Roman with a chair. From that moment on, Jey Uso was torn apart between staying with the bloodline or following Sami's footsteps, you know, out of the bloodline. So a couple months passed, he stayed in the bloodline, but he was still torn apart. And at some point, Roman Reigns started disrespecting both Jimmy Uso and Jey Uso. And the person who pulled the trigger actually on Roman Reigns, who pulled the trigger on that Civil War thing was Jimmy Uso, who basically uh, super kicked uh, Roman Reigns and basically he cost him the match. So Jimmy Uso was the guy who cost Roman Reigns. He basically is the reason why Jey Uso started going in the direction of leaving the bloodline. And all of a sudden, Jimmy Uso stays in the bloodline. Jey Uso said, Fuck this, I'm out of the bloodline. Jey Uso is on Raw because he doesn't want to deal with this BS anymore. And Jimmy Uso is in the bloodline. Even though he costed all this chaos. He costed the Civil War. He won against the bloodline at the Civil War match. So what the flip is going on? Jimmy and Jay were on the same team and all of a sudden now Jimmy is in the bloodline and Jay is out of the bloodline and they're fighting each other. It's a little bit of a BS. You cannot say anything against that. But nonetheless, I'm really excited to see that match. And also I'm really excited for when that match ends for the interviews after this match. And I'm really curious if this whole match will be fight, 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 fight. And in the end, Jay or Jimmy wins and it doesn't matter, it's, it's a feel-good moment for Jimmy. 
uh, or J, whatever, or it's gonna be like they fight, 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 and at some point they realize, bro, we are twins and we are on the same page. Why are we fighting against each other when we can fight against Roman and bring the bloodline apart and we can stay tag team and we can continue winning championships and have that feel good moment. I don't know, I'm really curious to see what's gonna happen. The bloodline will fall apart at this WrestleMania. I'm telling you, The Rock will turn on Roman because we're gonna have that Roman Rock match. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Don't leave like, share, subscribe, tweet, MySpace, you know, all of that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Peace.